I wanted to follow on Nora because if you basically have this Boehner plan that you say can't get through the Senate, and you've got a read plan that the Republicans don't think can get through the Senate or the House, and you're saying we want to compromise, what was the point of giving a primetime address to the nation without an Obama plan and say neither of these other plans okay. can work? Where I understand my, the idea that there is not an Obama plan is uh, there's like not, there's point not number one, on one, there's not one on paper. is point number one. On the, on the talking points issued by the Republican Party. I get no, it. No, 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 that's not okay. a talking point. No. no, no, show us the plan. Well, it's not a talking point. That's unfair. We have Where's said from the, the beginning, first of all, the President put forward in detail his principles at George Washington principles. University. Right. That's not Quite a, a lot of detail. The President stood before you. I can't remember if you were here Friday night. Some of you weren't because you cut out early, but a lot of you were. Oh. And he put forward in detail with numbers what he's willing to do. He then referred from the podium to the fact that White House officials would be briefing in detail what our plan is. Now, the purpose of putting forward a plan on paper, our interest in this has been to get a compromise, to get a deal. It has not been to politically position ourselves, say, with things that uh, uh, appeal to our base, maybe pieces of legislations that we know can't pass, but it will be you know, greeted warmly by certain constituencies. Our goal, and the reason why the negotiations have been conducted the way they have been conducted, is because we want a result. That's the way the President has. And it is simply not the case. Uh, you know, the, member, the senior the members of the House right Republican right. leadership can open their desk drawer, pull out reams of paper that represent the President's proposals and his counterproposals and his counter-counterproposals and his understanding that they need more of this and that he would like more of that. There is plenty of detail. But if the, even the President gave numbers on Friday night, White House aides were saying last night he was giving this speech to the nation because most Americans were not paying attention until last night. So even if he gave these numbers on Friday night, they have not, the American people were not paying attention Friday night by your own estimation. Well, I, so why didn't he say last night, here are the nine things that I support, here are the numbers, here's what I want to do on taxes, and, and just well, lay it out and say call your congressman the, with this, not with this the vague... Point, the point, I mean, you, you, the fact is you, you, you address the nation only so often on prime time. The President has been out here with an unbelievable amount of regularity talking to you, talking to the American people throughout this process. He has put forward in great detail. I mean, you know, if you guys haven't talked about it on the air or put it in your newspapers or on online, uh, then you should because the detail is there. Chuck. Jay, why not release the, uh, the last offer that Boehner made to you? I mean, I, I, I said if you don't want to release your own plan, release that plan. If that's the I deal, it, the, that's the last offer he made, and you guys are willing to go back with a few minor tweaks, release it. Well, it's the last week. Do you, look, release it. I'm not gonna look. We, we we have shown a lot of leg on what we were uh, proposing. Where? From the podium, right here, <laughs> and from from the, the you know the, the Roosevelt Room. The, the you know you could, certainly the Speaker of the House can address or his people can address. What they were, you know, what their last offer was. They claimed that they Why walked away from the table it? because of the 400 billion. Why not you do it if they throw it out there? I mean, the you're president stood here, Chuck. Again, I can't remember if you were here. It might have been Kristen, but the president stood here on Friday night and went into great detail. You should look at the transcript. The president, the president's the people still met with. out there. Why not just release that plan? Is it because you, you I mean, like, you need something printed for you. You can't write it down. There is ample yeah, detail. It's not a plan. It's not it a plan. Is. It was details of the plan, but it wasn't a plan the same way that we're getting a plan on the House side or that we're getting a plan on the we Senate side. We don't know what it's the not. Medicare thing is. We don't well, know what the Social Security part of this is. There wasn't. I mean, there was a lot of We talked in great thing. detail about what's in Medicare, and you know it. Why not put it out and there, though? You guys went look. before the American people last night, and I know that you're, you're probably getting frustrated because we're all asking a version of the same question, but you went before the American people last night and said, come, you know, call your members of Congress and tell them we want a compromise. Well, you had a plan that it, you were making the case for. It mm -hmm. sounded like a version of the compromise. Release it to the public. Carol. Just quickly to follow on Chuck's. I mean, the President did say to us on Friday that you guys would open the books and show us the paper. And then when we were in the Roosevelt Room, there was paper that we asked for that, that we weren't actually physically handed. So the senior exactly people in that room that walked you through the numbers, okay? It, it, it you know, I mean, we we can engage in this, but you know that the, the, the reason why we've approached it this way is precisely to, to make it, to create the optimum circumstances for a compromise. It is, 
most of you are veteran Washington reporters. You know how this process works, that, if you, that when you put forward a position, it becomes highly on, on, on difficult issues before a compromise is reached. It becomes charged politically, and your chances of actually getting an agreement diminish significantly. That's how it works. You know that's how it works. And it's for that you don't? Well, you should. Others do. It, 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 it is precisely because we wanted and believed and hoped that we could reach a compromise, that the negotiations were conduct conducted the way, the way they were, by both sides, by the way. Um, you know, it is one thing to say that, yes, Republicans put forward plans that everybody knows can't become law. Republicans were also engaged in quiet, detailed, concrete negotiations to reach a compromise. You worry about activists tearing this, activists on your side of the aisle tearing and this theirs, plan apart. And but theirs. But that's why you didn't, that's why this hasn't gone public. You, you know how it works. Of course. I understand that, but that is the reason you bring Because we wanted an outcome that, that, that if, as we've talked about, we've cited Bob Dole and others, you've got to hold hands, get in the boat together. Okay? That's why. 